I want to let you know I'm making things super easy for you for prom this year. Finally! I'm getting my own dress, so all you have to do is get me flowers, but not one of those cheap corsages. Okay, flowers, no corsage. Got it. And a nice dinner, but no Red Lobster or Denny's. It's got to be five stars. Five stars. Okay. And I need to be seen arriving in a limo. A limo? And not one of those cheap airport limos. It's got to be an Escalade. A super stretch Escalade. An Escalade? You know, the ones with the disco ball. Hey, how many tickets did your dad have to buy again? That's crazy thing, it only took one. Hey Hunter, I heard the news. What news? Hunter's dad won that big lottery. What are the odds? I didn't realize real people won the lottery. How much money did he get? Didn't you see on TV, it's like a hundred million bucks or something? Well, he hasn't gotten the check yet. Well, I guess he's quitting his job now, huh? What's he gonna do with all that money? I don't know what dad's gonna do, but let's just say I'm in the market for a new Lambo. A Lamborghini? Isn't that a little flashy? There is no such thing as too flashy. Can I get a ride after you get it? Hi, is this seat taken? Who are you? Oh, I'm Ava. I'm new here at Rebel High. Well, this class is for seniors only, not freshmen. I was told art appreciation was open to all students. We're here for art appreciation, not arts and crafts. We're not in elementary school anymore. Yeah, I know. Um, I actually plan on being an art broker when I grow up. All right, class, have a seat. Hey, come on. We're about to start. Sit down now. Welcome to Art Appreciation. I want to start off by asking how much you all know about art. I'd like to find out how many of you know what this famous piece of art is. Yes, Rachel. It is the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Now, who knows what this is? Yes, the new girl down in front. That's Botticelli's Birth of Venus. Very good. Now, who can tell us five of Van Gogh's famous works? Oh, I know. All right, you again. Ava, is it? Um, there's Starry Night and self-portrait with bandaged ear, and, um, 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 uh. Oh, I know, I know them all. Okay, Chelsea, why don't you tell us? The Potato Eaters, Irises, Almond Blossoms, The Night Cafe. Well, Chelsea, I'm surprised. Looks like you have an aptitude for art appreciation. Yeah, I really want to go to the Louvre in France. Chelsea's doing really well in art class, but is it possible that she's cheating? Well, Chelsea, speaking of famous French museums, can you tell me what this one is? Uh, Ralph Lauren? No, no, that's not it. Yes, Ava. It's Water Lilies by Monet. That's right. That's what I meant, uh, Monette. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you did. Okay, class, for next time, I'm gonna break you up into groups of three. And your assignment is to tell me what you think the greatest work of art ever created is, and why. Jake, I need to talk to you. How do we figure out what is the most important piece of art ever? Well, we could do it based upon the value of the art. Or what has the most views. Well, you have a computer. Why don't you just look it up? Well, wouldn't that be cheating? Well, I don't know, but isn't that what Chelsea does? Chelsea doesn't cheat. She just, uh, does research. Research? In class? That's called cheating. Well, anyway, how about Rodin's Thinker? Oh, yeah! I I never thought of a sculpture. How about the Statue of Liberty? Wait a minute, the most value hands down the original drawing of Mickey Mouse. Oh, I like the way you think. So what's the most important piece of art in history? I don't know, I'm just gonna look it up. But that's cheating. So who cares as long as we get an A? Yeah, I mean, who made you captain of the Goody Two Shoes team? Aren't you tired of somebody giving you the answer to everything? Don't you want to figure it out for yourself? Uh, no. <sighs> Good one. Ah, 
that hurt. You know, it's so refreshing to go out with a guy that'll take me to a nice place instead of a drive through restaurant. Well, what can I say? I really know how to treat a lady. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna wanna buy me purses, jewelry, and makeup now that we're going out. Obviously, if you're gonna be seen with me, you gotta look good. That's why I love dating rich guys, cause I can look good. That's the thing about having money. It attracts good looking ladies. Uh, hello? I'm over here. Jake. Chelsea, I wanted to talk to you about that limo. Oh, you don't have to. I'm so glad to hear that. You have no idea how expensive they are. It doesn't matter. I'm going to prom with Hunter. You're breaking up with me? No, I already broke up with you. You just didn't know it yet. What? What kind of logic is that? It doesn't matter. I've got better options now. So she dumps me because I never won the lottery. Well, there are more important things in life than money, you know. Oh, you mean like limos and five-star restaurants and not corsages? Those all sound like expensive things. Haven't you ever heard the expression, money can't buy happiness? You're absolutely right. Can you please tell Chelsea that? Seems like Chelsea's really into Hunter, but is Hunter really into Chelsea? Girls like you, they only come around once in a lifetime. <sighs> tell me more. Wow, girls like you, they only come around once in a lifetime. <laughs> really? Girls like you, they only come around once in a lifetime. You think so? Wow. Girls like you, they only come around once in a lifetime. I've never heard that before. All right, class, I'm pleased to announce that today you will receive a school-issued iPad. Yes, Chelsea, you have a question? I've got an iPad. Why should they get iPads? Because from now on, your curriculum will be distributed via the iPads. Teach, I don't need one of these. I already have one. Well, Chelsea, these iPads are not connected to the internet. They only have your art appreciation materials on it. Well, I can just download that on my iPad. That's because Chelsea uses hers to cheat. <gasps> cheat? Chelsea, is this true? I don't cheat. She's just jealous that I know more than her. Well, Chelsea, in that case, I'm gonna need to look at your iPad so I can check your search history. Oh no, that's, that's okay. I'll, I'll just use this one. No, Chelsea, I insist. I'm gonna need to see your old iPad. Really? <laughs> okay. Ooh, guess they've got your number. Okay. I'm gonna need to look into this. Do you think you're gonna get in trouble? I sure hope not. Okay, class, that's it for today. Be sure to study your art assignment on your iPads. That's it. Everyone can go. Not you, Chelsea. You need to stay behind. These new iPads are so cool. Yeah, I wonder if I can do my other homework on it, too. Oh, here she comes. Chelsea just got in trouble for cheating, but you aren't gonna believe what happens next. Jake, there you are. I, I really need to talk to you. That's fine, I guess, but you gotta tell me what happened in there. Well, I took art appreciation because it was supposed to be an easy A, but Baker said I was cheating and gave me an F. Somehow I'm not surprised. Yeah, that Baker's a tough cookie. Yeah, whatever. But Rachel, can you run along? I need to talk to Jake in private. Yeah, I guess. No, Rachel, you stay. Whatever she's got to say, she can say it in front of you too. Okay. Boy, this is awkward. Jake, I think you and I should get back together. Really? What happened to your new boyfriend, Hunter? Turns out he dumped me for Crystal Rivers. All she wants is his money. Sounds familiar. There are more things to life than money. She doesn't know that, honey. Honey? Ugh! What happened to your face? What do you mean? I just got glasses over the summer. Okay, four-eyed Fiona. Maybe you should change your name to Harriet Potter. That's funny. Did you come up with it all by yourself? Maybe you could cast a spell to fix your face. 
Oh, hey Josh. Uh, hi, Haley. Haven't seen you since the pool party. Yeah. That... Oh, your hair has gotten so long. Uh, thanks, Haley. <laughs> um, nice glasses, Fiona. Oh, you think so? Thanks. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> Come on. Which of you can tell me what comet passes by our planet every 75 years? That would be Haley's comet. Miss Frederick, she's making fun of my name. No, I'm not. Well, actually, Haley, that is the name of the comet. Maybe your parents were into astronomy and named you after it. Well, I may be named after a rock, but at least I can see where I'm going with my own two eyes. Before we finish for the day, we have a special guest who would like to talk to you about one of our exciting clubs here at school. Everybody, please give your attention to Josh. Uh, hi, guys. As Mrs. Frederick said, my name is Josh, and I'm the new president of the yearbook. Um, all our past members actually graduated this last year, and I'm looking for new volunteers, anyone who's interested in writing or design, Really anyone who just wants to be a part of the yearbook team. Uh, does that interest anybody? Wow, <laughs> a couple volunteers, that's awesome. Um, well, our first meeting is today at 3.30 in the library. I'll see you guys there. Okay, see you then. Bye. <laughs> I'd love to hear y'all's ideas. So one of the ideas that I had is that we could do a logo design contest for the cover of the yearbook. That way we could get students involved. Okay, well I was thinking that we shouldn't even have a yearbook. Like, let's just make it digital. Make like an Instagram page or something. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I also thought that we could do photos and interviews with all of the different clubs. I love the passion. Any other ideas? I was thinking that we could reach out to local businesses and have them sponsor students who can't afford yearbooks. Oh, speaking of charity, I can give back too. I was thinking we can have a makeup drive so that ugly people can feel pretty in their yearbook picture. Um, those are great ideas. Uh, what's really on my mind is that this is going to require a lot of photography, a lot of pictures. Do either of you have photography experience? Well, I have 100,000 followers on Instagram and I know all the filters. So, duh, I can take good pictures. I mean, I've been taking photography for like seven years and I have a camera, so... Any pictures four-eyed Fiona takes will be out of focus. Look, Haley, don't judge her because she's wearing glasses. It doesn't mean she's gonna take bad photos. You saw the yearbook last year. I took all those photos and weren't they okay? Yeah, but you have perfect eyes. You think that, but I wear glasses too. You, a glasses nerd? Fiona, do you think you'll be able to handle the photography this year? Yes. Then Haley, I don't think we'll be needing you. <laughs>